salute, 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 man. Bow, boxing, nocturnal thoughts, what it is, what it do, what's happening in a hey, man. Quick post reaction after thoughts of um, Tartan Tornado, Triple T, Josh Taylor versus Jack Catterall. Um, first of all, man, I think the referee is uh, getting some unfair criticism. I think he was firm and fair. You know what I'm saying? He was uh, covered in sweats and bloods and guts and all of that. And I think he uh, did a proper job. Um, I think the points that were deducted, both points that were deducted, I think those were fair deductions, to be honest with you. It did make the fight a little bit harder to score, um, but that was a, a, a ugly fight. Um, you could tell that both guys really wanted that win. It was uh, it was headlock, clinches, headbutts, shoulder sh shrugs. Uh, Jack Catterall scooped him up and picked him up by his leg. It, it, that, that was a rough uh, that was a rough fight. Both guys, you know, what I'm saying, went at it real hard, dog fight style. But um, I'm gonna have to say that. Either way I look at it, of course you can nip and tuck here and there, swing round here and there. It was tough for me to find the rounds for Josh Taylor. No matter which way I looked at it, Jack Catterall came out the the uh, winner, the victorious winner on Moscow scorecards. Um, Josh Taylor looked like to me, he just couldn't find the proper timing, um, the proper range. He really didn't get a lot of good turnover on his punches not a lot of pop to his punches a lot of push punches he did have uh some good work he did to the body but i felt like his assault became pretty predictable and telegraphed at times jack catterall seemed to have him down had his timing down and jack catterall counter counter punching was um just more accurate he had a little bit more polarizing captivating shots now there were times both guys had their moments. There were lulls in the fight where both guys were at a neutral standstill. At the most, most of the fight you've seen, the aggressor was Josh Taylor, but he wasn't effective the entirety. Some of his aggressiveness was was um, forced and nullified and uh, smothered, and it wasn't effective. Um, going into the 12th round, who needed to have the bigger round, who needed to put the exclamation point on the 12th round to win, it was it was Josh Taylor. And uh, I think he did just enough to win the 12th round, but he didn't win it big. He didn't win any rounds big. The, the, the rounds that Jack Catterall won were so much more clear. And, um, you know, it was clear and more captivating, more flush shots, clean shots. Um, he did start to fade. He, he did start to wilt, but he would he would spring back just enough to hold on to the lead that he had, especially with the knockdown. Like I said, I agree with the deduction of both points because the fight was so rugged uh, and they were warned repeatedly for the headlocking, the clinching, the over excessive clinching, and then uh, Josh Taylor punched after the bell. Now, honestly, I think Jack Catterall could have got a point deducted right after the knockdown. He hesitated for a while and then he clipped him on the back of the head. Could have been a foul that could have cost him that point, but he didn't even get a point deducted from that. So, um, it was a good fight. Uh, I don't think the right man won. I think the best man that night was uh, Jack Catterall. I don't want to say robbery is a harsh term i don't want to use robbery casually or cavalierly but no matter how i look at it in in, in this case i think that uh, jack catterall was robbed of his moment and i don't i don't really think that's fair and i don't think it's fair for josh taylor to say on one hand he would rematch him but on the other hand it'd have to be in the welterweight division I feel like, why do you need to, uh, you know, change the playing field? Uh, why not have it on the same even? Why try to get an advantage point 
I know he is a big guy for the 140 pound division and he's been talking about moving up to fight, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford. But after last after that performance, I would I would do what I need to do to um you know, set the record straight. You know what I'm saying? So I think that fight demands a rematch and let the best man win. But right now, I'm going to have to say Jack Catterall was robbed of his moment in glory. And he should have become the new undisputed champion at the 140-pound division. This is Boxing Nocturnal Thoughts. Salute. My hat goes off to both Warriors. Um, Jack Catterall surprised me. I'm eating my crow. His defense was better than I thought it was. His offense was better than I thought it was. He proved to be... Uh, more than just a fringe contender he is a, a, a threat to that weight division and um, I want to see him become a champion boxing nocturnal thoughts man salute 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 wow peace together we stand divided we fall one love I'm gone